Hey, it's Joy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here with me today because I'm sharing a inspiration hop and giveaway from Pajama Crafter Stamps. I am going to be featuring the Greatest Treasure stamp set. We are also releasing some flashcards and another stamp set called In Full Bloom to celebrate everything Mother's Day and patriotic and summer. So during this hop, if you... Um, follow all the participants and like, comment, follow, you will be eligible to win one of two $10 gift cards to Pajama Crafter Stamps. I want to add that this is not sponsored by YouTube or by Meta. It is solely at the discretion of Pajama Crafter Stamps. I chose to color my little dragons yellow with some red, I'm sorry, some pink speckles. So I started out by mapping out my shadows with the Y19 because that is my darkest color. And you notice that I put some indentations to make the legs seem rounded or to give it more shape. And then I came in with the Y17 and blended that out, added, adding more shadow. Finally, from there, I bring in the Y15, which is my midtone. So that's the one that you're going to see the most of. So that is going to be what you fill in. If you're new to coloring, it is the it is the main color that your eyeball sees. So you're going to color in the majority of the dragon with that Y15. And then I came in with my lightest color or my highlight color being a Y13. Now I mentioned that I am going to speckle this in and I'm going to use some R14 one seven and 19 where the wings are at the like points or where it gathers i have my darkest color and then i go out to my lightest and then with the i'm going to call it the spine of the wings or maybe the structure of the wings i decided to go with pink so i used my r17 and then i blended it out with the r14 and then rv 14 and then blended it out with the rv 11. i mentioned earlier that i used rv 19 and i actually did not so i apologize for that i then decide to stripe the belly with in white and pink so i used the rv 17 14 and 11. under the neck i kept it dark and closest to where the legs are overlapping the belly those are the darkest and then at the at the brim of the belly where it's the most rounded i then came in with that rv11 so i mentioned that this is part of a hop all of the participants are in the description box below as well as all of the products that i used and the products from the new release that way you have no problem finding that so if you're interested in anything that i've used please look in the description box and for the participants now i am coming in with the rv family and i started with the darkest so in the places that are in shadow i used that rv17 and i dotted that in and i extended them out a little bit blended them with the uh, 14 and then the 11. for the white areas even though you've got something that's white you still have shadows and you have to mention so i used a c3 and a one to uh, color my whites now just to be transparent with you i only sped up my color by coloring by two times for the mama dragon but for the baby dragon i do speed it up by four times just because it's kind of a redundant coloring um and for the spine like where the bumps are i just use that rv17 because i didn't think that there was enough room to get any dimension for this baby dragon I kept my shadows in the same spots but remember they are facing each other so the baby's dragon and face is going to be in shadow where his back is going to be the lightest area so just keep that in mind as you do um, light source for my castle I use the R4 4 4 3 and 4 2 just to get a nice sandy look. Now I kind of broke away from my light source and I'm making it look like the shadow is on each side. 
so I didn't stay tried and true with my with my coloring but here's the deal you need to do something really well on your card and all of the other pieces are just supporting actors so you don't have to be spot on with the shading now I know some of you are cringing when I say that but let's be real we give our cards to people who are probably going to throw them away because they don't quite understand that we spent hours making cards and that's fine really I'm just trying to tell somebody that I love them that I care about them and if they keep it forever they do or they don't so I, like I said I use the four seven I'm sorry the four 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 three and four two I colored in that flag with the RV one four which was my mid-tone color and then the windows and the door I used a c7 five and nine using my dies now I wanted to mention that starting last release I am packaging the dies in envelopes and I left a white space at the top that you can uh, cut off the top so you can reuse those envelopes as much as you like now I am coming in with a cloud stencil and peacock feathers distress oxide and I am just uh, turning that around so that our clouds are all different shapes using a ray of rainbows um, I cut that out with all the different colors of the rainbows and now I am positioning that um, to go across the card normally that goes a uh, long ways but I thought it was fun to do it this way I also cut out some clouds and I am parking the uh, castle like as if it's a, a castle in the clouds because this is my fairy tale behind the clouds and then I pop up the um, dragons and I continue to fiddle with my clouds so I want to say thank you so much for hopping with us please consider liking subscribing and commenting as that helps the YouTube algorithm and also um, just thank you for hanging out with me I know it's been like a long time since I've made a video and I'm sorry that I've kind of neglected my channel but I hope to do more over here and on the pajama crafter stamps channel finally I cut out the hearts from the same greatest treasure stamp set and I'm putting diamond sickles on there so that way it looks like we've got like a balloon shape or heart shaped clouds you can leave this off if you want it I just thought it was a whimsical touch now I'm going to tell you that I don't always feel like a card has to have a sentiment on the front so I put mine on the inside. I did decide to uh, add some boyfriend blue gems to my card front and I'm sorry that my head got in the way but um, when you're getting old like me sometimes your vision's not so well so you have to really get in there and hover over. Using my cotton tail embossing tool I prepped my paper, my black cardstock and I'm stamping down the mom you're my greatest treasure uh, sentiment and then I embossed that in white here are some final looks at my card again this is part of a hop so check out the description box below thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you have a great day bye bye friends